Okay, first I'm going to show you her rig for travel. A couple of exceptions. I have already installed the rudder. I usually take it off for travel. And this is a cockpit cover for the rear cockpit. And um, of course I'll remove it and show you that in a bit. The other thing I have I've done is um, I haven't tied down this is the boom and, and the mainsail. And there's the, the masthead float. We'll show you that as we go around. And you can see here on the, the edge of the, um, of the side deck, it's not, not really a, an, an aka because the aka is, is in. You see it, there's a pin here that holds it in and there's another hole when we slide it out that will hold that. I tied down the mainsail here on the side deck. The other thing I've already installed is the bowsprit. Um, I take that out for travel. And this is a, a belter during COVID and you couldn't find a boat trailer all the bass boats had taken over that in Tennessee. And so um, I have modified with Alan's help um, this pontoon trailer um, to hold her. And I'll, I'll walk back around. walking on this uneven ground is a little tough with my legs. Here's the storm keg. It goes over the cockpit rim um, and, and forms essentially a rain jacket for you and covers the cockpit. Um, and so if you're, if you're traveling either in, in, in big ways or in, in, in storm, you can keep yourself um, dry and warm inside there. Um, this tube is the main mast and we'll open that up in a, in a minute here's the other ama and this is the plug for the um for the the hobie drive hole it keeps a little drier inside and you can see the the push pull tiller and in the inside this is the um this is the um, centerboard, or it's actually a lee board, but it's, it's set up like a centerboard. And on around the rest of the trailer, um, with the jack, and I don't know if you can see it from the other side, but there's a spare mounted on it. Okay, I'll set it up and then come back to you.